what is up people and welcome back to the channel right so let's go on with this chassis build because i've got other jobs coming in and we're literally going to run out of time to do anything on this and everyone wants to see it. but i do have to keep the paid jobs coming in because that's what pays for all of this my hoodies and mats it's just i ain't made of money so i've got to keep earning so right what we're going to talk through today is bending stuff and we're going to get some 45 mil down because we've got to clean it because all this tube comes in like an oil you have to clean your tube i mean clean it so what i do is i have brake cleaner or carb cleaner same stuff clean it down with a the rag then clean it again then i scotch bright the whole tube then clean it again with some acetone or whichever you prefer you want it nice and clean so right, what we're going to talk to at the beginning is my main hoop, my front legs and my screen bar. I don't know if anybody wants any measurements, but I'm going to give them to you and show you how I do it. Right, I've set this up the best I can in case anybody wants to take a photo shot, shot or whatever. This is, these are my dimensions for my front legs, my roof bar and my main hoop. So if you want to take a photo of it, you can. I've drawn where you need to put your bend points, what your bend points are, and the direction of bend. These arrows are directions of bends, see? So my front legs are 2,100 millimeters long. You'll have to convert it into inches or feet, pounds, kilograms, whatever you use. So my front leg is 2,100 millimeters long combine entire length this is 45 mil tube so from this end of the tube you're going to put some marks so 940 mil 1450 mil and then 1790 mil those are your marks so you're going to do them in black pen just mark 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 then at the 940 mark bending from this way yeah, so your bender will be on this side and it will be bending around. So bend from this way. I'll show you on this main hoop I've got in a minute. So you've got your mark, your bender, you're bending this way. Yeah, I'll show you. So 940 mil, you're going to bend that 57 degrees. Now on the same plane, you're going to slide it through your bender, keep it level. You're going to bend it 33 degrees. Yeah. Then you're going to slide it through to 1,790 mil. But you're not going to bend it. You are going to turn the tube 90 degrees in your bender before you bend it. Right? That You have to do this. So you've got a bend, slid the tube through, a bend slide the tube through, rotate the tube 90 degrees, then bend it 10 degrees, right? That's your one leg. And when you come to do your next leg, you need to rotate the tube 90 degrees in the opposite direction. Because where the tube comes down your windscreen, if this is across your roof, this is down your windscreen, that's the bend at the bottom of your windscreen, so imagine it's coming across, there's your first bend, it's coming down, there's your second bend, which is your 33, down, then you need a 10 degree bend at the bottom just to kick it in, if you understand what I mean. You'll see when I'm bending them anyway. So you must remember that 90 degree rotation. Then our roof bar, 1035 long, yeah, combined. Then you are going to draw lines at 220 mil, 495 mil, and 835 mil. So we have our three lines. Right? Then from this direction, you are going to bend your 220. On the same plane, you are going to bend your 495. Then you're going to take it out of the bender. Flip it around 180 degrees and pull it in from the other way. Level it up. 
and then bends right three five right because these two bends bend in and then this is just a kink in the middle right that's how i do it you could do it like that like that and like that but then you'll have to make this shorter because that's one measurement so you've got a measurement a measurement these two measurements are different because you're bending from the opposite direction so you're pulling the tube through the bender in the opposite direction so that's 15 degrees 10 degrees 15 degrees yeah my main hoop 2796 millimeters long all of these by the way the front legs and the main hoop they are slightly oversized because it's easier to cut a little bit off the end or if you fuck up on one of your notches up here just to lob it off move it a touch you know what i mean yeah so these are a touch long it's like i include my floor is one inch box i have to cut the inch off but i'll make the tube longer because it's easier that way so we're at 296 no 2796 mil you're going to put a mark right in the middle at one three nine eight because on a main hoop you have to start from the middle and bend out yeah so you put a mark from this end 280 1070 1726 and 25 16 yeah 2516 mil so they're your marks but you have to start bending from the middle so you'll put your bender say here you'll bend this bend then you'll bend this bend then you'll take it out the bender put it flip it 180 then bend this bend bend that bend going outwards yeah you can bend the hoop in one like bend 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 but this is the way i do it because it's the easiest way i found of doing it right so these are my descriptions of your main hoop your front legs and your roof bar that will get you your main cage that you need right then so what i'm going to do show you my main hoop i've got one out i'll show you the marks so this is a main hoop there, this is a space frame one it's a little bit shorter <clears throat> so you can see my mark you can see my mark and you can see my mark yeah so that is your center point of your tube my bender that is where my bender is this line here so when you're putting a line on here it corresponds to this line this line on my model 32 yeah there so that black line will be just visible here that is my datum point not this not this not this that because that doesn't move so my bender is like here kind of thing you get me you get it so that line there goes against the die and then you bend and then come down here this line here <clears throat> is against my die bend and then i take it all out and i do it again this mark here against the die bend so the die is like here if you get me that is clamped and then you draw this bar through don't you and then that one yeah same thing so you get the idea on how it works you start from the middle bend one way bend the other way <clears throat> so imagine that tube is straight there that is clamped on the end of my die and then it gets pulled through that way which will create the bend exactly the same here that clamps against the die pulls through <clears throat> so that's how this works these lines correspond with that there yeah i just thought i'd explain that that's how my basic frame works and then in here i've got 
loads of little drawings, floor sketches. That's the front end of the Maguire. That's the actual Maguire one I did. So yeah, I just keep drawings and I just jot things down, bend angles. Ideally, I should put them all on a file and then stick the file online. Ryan, so it's freaking freezing in here. I've got just over an hour before I have to get ready for work. So let's drag some tube down. show the tube I use now you may wonder why I clean it so much two reasons one I've been you don't want the grease or the oil that this tube's covered in attracts dirt and you do not want to run that through your dyes you know what I mean you you want to clean your tube you clean your dyes then you WD-40 your dyes because these need to stay clean you know what I mean we had a case come through here before and the dyes must have been worn and it's just scratched all the bends. So you clean to keep that safe. But you also clean because you don't want any contaminants in your weld. This roll cage is going to save your bacon when you need it. You know what I mean? Yes, it's a space frame, so you need the strength of the chassis itself to make the car worthy of being what it is. But also, if shit goes pear-shaped, you don't want contaminants in your weld, right? <clears throat> so I thought I'd show you before, because I'll clean it all off, see. Where is it? Try and find some writing for you. This tube isn't that bad compared to my old stuff, because we're using a new supplier. Yeah? So, this tube's in much better cleanliness, if you know what I mean. Right, so what have we got? Can you see what it is? Fucking, uh, here we go. All right, so you've got ROPT. That stands for Roll Over Protection Tube. So this is proper roll cage tube. And it's made by Performance Metals. Yeah? And we are, this is ROPT 510. And it is 44.45 millimeter tube with a 2.64 mil wall. So that is the tube you need in your main hoop and your front legs and your rear support diagonals. Blue book says, that's it. It's gotta be 45 mil tube with a 2.65 mil wall. So that is what you have to be. It's like a lot of the old space frames have got pissed in, roll cages. Technically, they are still allowed to race because they were built before the regulations came in. But this, this is the tube you need. And if you want to get it, Performance Metals, and I'm quite happy at the quality of the tube that's come in compared to our last supplier. So, right then, I'm going to, I've done that one. Got to scotch this one, clean it off. The scotch, it does dull it down a little bit, you can see. But I'd still rather have it cleaner and ready to weld at this point than when before you do any welding, you just give it a quick scrub round with the <whistles> scotch bright. Right, I'll carry right on. Then. So there we have our two lengths and a bit. So these are six meter lengths, and that's uh, just just over half, I think. So because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two sets of front legs. So I've got two main hoops. So I'm going to make two sets of front legs, and this will be two roof bars. Yeah? Because, well, we can fit them in. We've got plenty. So we know now you've seen your measurements, whether you use them or not. 
where to place your bender. We've got our tube, we've cleaned it, we've scrubbed it, we've cleaned it. So now we're pretty much ready to start chopping and bending. But I've got to get ready for work. So what I'm going to try and do with these videos is give them short to the point. Some of the stuff I'm not going to cover because I've covered it in previous videos. So what I'll do is say if I've come to something like the floor, I'm sure there's a video, I will double check before I make the videos. There's a video previous of me making the floor. So what I'll do is when I come across something I'm going to make, I'll say there's a link in the description to the video of me making this. Because we don't want to keep running over and over the same stuff. Building the chassis, there's four videos. But this chassis is going to be a little bit different because I'm just going to mix it up a touch. Right, so these videos, I'm trying to keep them short and sweet so people actually watch the full video because that really helps the channel. It's like likes are good because their algorithm loves them and it shows my video to more people so more people can get more inspiration. And the more likes and views I get, the more encouragement we get to make these videos, just to help people out, yeah? And my hoodies are selling well, my hats are selling well. What I'm gonna do for now until the website's done is I'll put a link in the description to my Instagram page. Just send me a private message if you're interested in one and we'll uh, sort something out. I have literally got to order new ones because I'm really low. But anyway, thanks for watching. That's the first chassis build video. And I hope you enjoyed it and got some information out of it. Right, see you next one, people. See you later.